This game is very much in its infancy, but let's take a look at Kite. Okay, so we're getting jump we're jumping right in. So laser sights has a cool little touch. Actually, I really like that. Very simple. Too bad it doesn't get like caught on walls or anything. Oh, I got oh, I guess that's the music. Hopefully this isn't copyrighted music. I don't know. Sounds good though. Might be a little loud. Oh yeah, we're going to the dubstep feel right here. Bullets of plenty. I think I have infinite ammo. I see on the bottom left there I have some kind of ammo cartridge, or magazine rather I should say. And it looks like it goes down and then it kind of goes back up. Can I, can I run out of ammo? Is that a thing? Is that a possibility? It seems like it just keeps reloading as I'm shooting. That might be a glitch. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's still... So, that probably shouldn't actually be regenerating. Okay, that's what it is. It regenerates over time. So, it probably shouldn't be regenerating while I'm shooting. Seems a little odd. Probably don't want to shoot the guys in blue. Now, let's see. I heard if I press escape, I can see buttons. Okay, what do I see here? Uh, how to get music, skip... Okay, none of that's doing it for me. I have a left gun, I have a right gun, and I have a two-handed weapon. Mouse wheel. Middle mouse, rather. Switch between dual wield and two-handed weapon. So now I got my rocket launcher out. Very nice. And it's actually a rapid, rapid fire bazooka. But I probably don't want to do that because it looks like it takes two bullets every time. Actually, I really like that ammo uh, look right there. Visually, that's really cool. That is really cool. Why am I missing? Crosshair's right, or rather the laser's right on him. So I guess I uh, probably want to use, yeah, normal guns at close range. I guess I don't like blowing myself up, so I guess I shoot a little high with the with the rocket launcher, bazooka, whatever. I don't know what it is about that door animation, but I like it. Looks like they're dropping something. Yeah, there we go. Money of some sort, I guess. They're dropping triangles. Large pyramids. Get out of here. Let's see. So if I hold down spacebar, it looks like I go, I go into super speed. I can see my blue bar over there depleting. No, maybe not. Or is that my ammo? I don't know what that is. Where's my right click? My right click seems to be just the one weapon. Oh, no, I get it. Each button is a different weapon. So my right click is my right-handed. My left click is my left-handed. So basically, I just want to, whenever I'm in two-handed mode, be doing both. Neat. Now, the music is super loud, which isn't inherently bad, but you do have, like, other sound effects that I don't know if I really want to be focusing on. But I mean, like, when your music is louder than your loud, loud bullet sounds, you might want to wonder if the sound direction is going in the right direction. I'm actually going to turn this down because I'm probably yelling right now. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, shooting him, I lose breath. So it looks like really all that's happening right now is it looks like it's an infinite spawn style situation, which is perfectly fine. It's, it's a demo, so we want that. Just give us all the time in the world to play with these guns. I'm pretty much able to shoot infinitely, though, with the other gun. Like this one, it doesn't even... I'm regenerating ammo faster than I'm actually wasting it with this gun. What is this, a racetrack or something? With a pond in the middle? Alright, so I don't know what all that stuff I'm gaining is, and I haven't really gotten a second to mouse over and look. Hang on. Okay, there we go. So there's a bullet jam time on the bottom left I'm looking. Uh, there's a jam bullet time. There is a uh, level up stat system, I guess. Uh, HP keeps you alive. Uh, let's see. Oh, Q, E, and R. Blink, minibot, and burst mode. Double tap in any direction to dash. wonder what the difference between a dash and a fast movement is, or uh, holding down spacebar, I guess you could say. Spawners 5. So there are 5 spawners, 20 enemies. Remove all enemies to fight boss. Okay. So I guess I've been getting... Uh, here's my level over here on the top right. Looks like there's uh, agility, fortitude, intelligence. Uh, there's there's intellect factored into this? Really? That's a thing? What am I, like a, a wizard gun master? I don't freaking know. Alright, alright. 
Uh, mouse wheel, switched alternates. What are my alternates? Oh, a shotgun. And what is that? Some kind of purple railgun? Yeah, it's like a railgun. It's like a sniper rifle railgun thing. A purple sniper rifle railgun. What's with these dudes? Can I, like, talk to them? Or... Alright, so I just deployed a mini bot. And Q is my blink. Oh, come on. The instant transmission sound from DBZ. You thought I wouldn't recognize that? That's awesome. I'll take it. Yeah, this was a bad plan. Oh, everything about this. This was a poor choice. So if I hold down shift, I guess we go into bullet time mode. Look at that. And I can see my bullet time decreasing down there. Ah, the things that have been done to us thanks to the Matrix. Alright, so I am not a fan of the idea of the shotgun bullets just disappearing. I mean, come on, shotguns can go a good distance. And not to mention, with the bullet spread you have set up, it'd be perfectly fine if the shotgun just kind of sort of uh, went all the way and then the bullets just stopped, you know what I mean? But as a stand, it seems like this is the all-range weapon I really want right here. Yeah, I can see the bullets are stopping on that, too. I didn't even notice that. My stats are all up here. Although when I mouse over them, I can't see what they are. Like, I can't simultaneously see what they are, and I can't see what they're representing. So I have to kind of, like, mouse over and mouse off, but at the same time, it's full-on action. So there's no real time I can just stop and look at my stats. I can't pause it and look because it automatically brings down all of those tips. Why do you want the shells to disappear? I don't want the shells to disappear. I want the shells... I, I don't want any of these bullets to disappear, honestly. There's there's no real gain to it. I mean, you could make the claim, oh, well, you could just snipe things across the map. Well, not really, because you can't see across the map. You can guess. Sure, you can guess. But at the end of the day, you're just guessing. I'd really love it if instead I could just kind of... Uh, oh, I guess I need some uh, transmission to wherever my mouse is, huh? I can only do it so many times. My health's getting low. But anyway, I fire a shotgun, and I would really just love it if it just went all the way, you know? This game has a lot of UI elements, but the thing is, it's almost really cluttered by them, quite frankly. Especially considering I can't really mouse over them to see what they are. Instead, I just mouse over them, and I see what they are, but I don't see what their current settings are. I, I don't know how to put it. Seems a little off. And I'd love it if I could switch, like, I'd love to have a rapid fire gun and my shotgun. Maybe there is a way, I just don't know it yet. Dual wielding alternatives, two handed alternatives. Oh, wait, what's my two handed alternative? Oh, hello. I do not know what that is, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with never knowing what this is as long as I can use it for a long, long time. Oh, and it has an alternate fire. Hang on. That means this ha oh, this does have an ultra fire. I love the weapon variety. Can't fault that for even a second. The weapon variety is awesome. Everything seems to have some kind of function behind it. Like, this is just a full-on railgun. This is the railgun I was looking for. Put down another bot, I guess. Uh, if I double tap, okay, there's, so that's the dash, <laughs> or at least the attempt at a dash animation. I think that might be bugged, I don't know. Looks a little weird. Looks like it's uh, animating into the wrong frame or something. Seems like I've had a few things just kind of go through enemies. Not always, but particularly when I'm close. Especially with the rocket launcher. Uh oh, uh oh. Get the heck out of there. I do like that instantaneous transmission thing. That is cool. Well, I learned to use bullet time a bit more like I am right now. You know what would be really cool is if the, uh, if whether I'm speeding up or slowing down time, it actually, uh, changed the music. Either the tempo or just a, uh, yeah, I would say tempo. Change the music tempo. If I'm going into slow motion, you know, just best description. <laughs> that is my hardcore description of tempo changing music. And of course, not just the tempo, but the sound effects too. Basically, make it sound like you're in slow motion town. Everything right now, all the sound is saying the same whenever I'm in slow motion or fast motion or whatever. And that could definitely be a nice little tweak that adds a very nice feel to the game. It adds the juiciness to the game. Get that juice! I don't know what uh, operating system, I don't know what that's all about up there. Uh, level, I, I still don't really know what these stats do. Um, 
Oh, it does tell me down there. Strength is melee DPS, stamina is hit points and uh, jamming decrease, I'm guessing. Fortitude is armor and shield, intelligence, critical and bot stats. Okay, so these guys right here, I gotta keep deploying these. Which seems weird, why do I need to keep deploying them? When I just only, shouldn't I only be allowed to have one out at a time, you think? Because otherwise I could just, if I'm paying attention, have like a ton of them out. So that seems to go through walls, that's it. Really not sure what's up with the scientist dudes. I just know when I shoot him, I seem to lose rep, whatever that is or does or means. Get over here. I'm ready for you this time. Mechanically, this game is getting... It's starting off very nicely. Like, for where this game is in development, I think we're in a very good place. Well, I'm not quite sure how or where I'm supposed to get health, or if I'm even supposed to be getting health. I'm assuming it might be from some of these drops, maybe? No, maybe not. And I'm not sure what these two bars are yet. I assume the red one is my health. Yeah, it looks like it, because I think I just died. And that's my body over there or something. Yeah, th there it is. Okay. So I assume the red one is my health. I'm not sure what's up with the blue one, though. It doesn't seem to be my dash. That seems to be my battery, my energy. Okay. What about the bullet time? Is that what that is? Doesn't seem to be decreasing, so I'm gonna guess that's a no too. Oh, so is that okay? That looks like it's one of the spawners, but I can't seem to destroy it with bullets, so I don't know why I'm even trying. Uh, nope, bullets seem worthless. Oh, just stand on it. I would not have guessed that. That looks like a place you do not want to be standing. Okay. Might want to make that clearer, or at least less like you're gonna be stepping in a bad place. Because as it stands, I really have no real want to stand in a giant pit of purple that enemies are coming out of. Seems like a bad place to be. Not a great time for a Tuesday night. Is that Wolfman? Do we find Wolfman? What's Wolfman doing here? He's, is that a magnifying glass floating above his head? I don't even know. All I know is his, like, this shotgun should be way more effective against him. Wolfman can take a hit. That is fact. There we go. Plus one strength. Awesome. What is... Where are those explosions coming from? Huh. Weird. Oh, hey. He's got my weapon. That's my weapon. Shotgun's definitely effective at close range. That's a plus. I'm not sure what's up with those dudes. They're a little weird. Landmines, I see. There are landmines. So our new Bruce is saying that the mouse overs are a band-aid right now. That's perfectly fine. Level up. I do like the level up sound, but I totally know it's from something. It's from a lot of things. It's one of those standard, uh, especially anime sounds, you hear it in like a dubbed anime. It was probably in Dragon Ball Z quite a bit. The sounds do change in slow-mo, but not the music. Fair enough. Yeah, I think if you could change the tempo of the music whenever you go into slow-mo, and make sure you have some kind of a, a sound when you start slow-mo, it's just, it's just one of those things. So those things explode whenever I kill them, that's fun. Okay, it's probably a bad plan. Probably a very bad plan. Let's switch it up here to my Railgun Odin. So the scientists will basically be regenerating new tech for you as long as you keep them safe. Is there any kind of uh, moving? Like, I, I think that's a good idea. I don't like the idea if I need to keep them safe all across the map the entire time. It'd be nice if I could actually, like escort them somewhere where they'd be safe and that's when they start generating tech for me like they don't flat out start generating tech for me if that makes sense because then it feels more like there's a there's another objective you're throwing in the mix and then i have to weigh my options okay well what do i want to do first do i want to save more scientists or do i want to go and just close the portal before too many enemies overrun me or just go out and kill enemies and get experience why does the bullet stop going that far? 
I can't see him off screen, dang it. I'm guessing. There it is. This guy means business. There we go. Hey, to be fair, that's what I'm saying. I would have loved the chance to move him, but yes, poor scientist guy, I agree. One thing I do like is I noticed that I move slower on different terrain. Like, I'm moving really slow here, but here, on the running track, I'm actually getting quite a bit of speed. Oh, wow. Shoot. See, whenever I press Q, I keep on thinking I'm going to move wherever, whatever direction I'm currently moving in, but it's actually where, wherever my mouse is, which, that's just me. That's on me. I actually prefer it being where the mouse is. Makes a lot more sense. Gives me a lot more control over it. Nope, switch. Ah, I've done exploding. Let's see. So I still got some scientists alive. That's a good sign, right? Means I'm doing something. Decently well. So are these the landmines here? Yeah, those are the landmines, aren't they? And they only affect me, obviously. I don't know what is up with those dudes, but they're not kind. Oh boy, bad place to be. Some of these enemies, they move very strangely. I should really just stick with these weapons for like medium distance. It seems like it's really just the best way to go. One fort! Yay! I have a fort. Fort high sights. Just always be holding down the buttons. Now I'm guessing these pluses mean I might regain health here. Yeah, that's what that is. That's exactly what that is. Very good. Still have no idea what the blue thing is though. Whatever, I'll get it back eventually. I always seem to. I'd almost make that more obvious, like, uh, if you made, like, in here, you put a first aid thing in here. If you made it so anywhere in here was safe, because I don't think enemies can get in here, am I guessing right on that? If you made it so the second you step in here, you just start gaining health, that'd be a good way to go. You just put, like, a, a little health symbol on the wall or something, you know? Just make it really obvious. It seems weird to have them on the floor. Yes, this game was made in Game Maker Studio. Level up. Okay, I'm, yep, level 11. Look at me, I'm mid jump. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna kill dudes like this as long as I can. Come on. Who wants some? I feel like a Superman right now. <laughs> that might need a little switching. Well Jackson ain't got no moonwalking on me. Now, this is definitely a game with a lot of features. The question is, are there too many features, I wonder. I keep on overlooking things, like I have these bot spawning things, but they seem relatively worthless at the moment at the very least. They don't seem to do too much for me, maybe they help a little bit, but I haven't really noticed it. And it almost seems like it takes away from the action to have them doing anything. So, do those really need to be there? And what was the other thing? R for burst mode? Energy and ammo regen. Okay. It's enjoyable. Not sure what the difference between green damage and red damage is. Unless I'm killing people with this. Nope, that definitely hurts. Like the most I could possibly say is those little robots dudes might have just taken a rocket for me. Okay, so we have three more spawners to find. Graphically, I'll say the map is very well made. It's very varied. Very varied. I English good. I like the way it looks. This game has a very beautiful aesthetic. There's something trying to shoot at me, but I don't think it's actually happening.
the, the, the only thing really is, it feels like these are the weapons I want to use the least, but they're absolutely the most effective in every situation. So it feels like it's a real loss in my opinion. It's like, I'd rather check out the really cool rocket launcher with two-handed stuff and use that more often, but it seems like a waste because it's clearly not the most effective weapon. It takes too long to reload by comparison. So that might be something to examine in the uh, balancing is like, am I using the most fun guns in all the situations? Oh, did the spawner respawn? That seems wrong. Why did that happen? So I noticed uh, just now in the crosshair is the red bar, and that's my current ammo. That's a nice little thing. Always try to put your info wherever you're going to be looking, wherever the player's going to be looking. See, I feel like I'm fighting around this scientist, dude, when I just want to say, dude, go back to the compound. It is not safe here. All right, got another one. Four spawners in there. Oh, wasn't it four spawners before? I don't know, I wasn't really looking. I want to try and finish out this level. Bullet time doesn't seem to do much against them. There it is. I also want to say this game has some kind of competitive multiplayer. Well, not now, you know, just PvP. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Get out of there, you crazy wolf man, you. I'm gonna die. I will say, the, the best feature, the best skill I have is absolutely that instantaneous transmission thing. And, you know, the ability to run. That's always nice. Oh, no. Get out of here, you. I need to heal. So, shields. Is that what that is? Shields level. That's what the blue is. So, how do I get shields? Do I just... Is it when I'm not moving or just over time? Just over time when I'm not taking damage. Okay, that's how that works. Now I know what the blue is. Now, I should mention, I've already been warned, the, uh, the enemy pathing is not great in this game right now. Hey, what? That reopened? That was the first one I closed. Okay, I'm very confused on how you're supposed to end this. It feels like it is a ongoing game. Just forever and ever and ever. Didn't actually teleport. This game has a lot going on, and I feel like it makes it tricky to convey everything properly. It's something... Conveyance is always one of the hardest things to do in game design. You have to find a way to unintrusively explain what's going on. But that can be really tricky when you have this much going on. And let's face it, there is a lot going on. There are a lot of mechanics, a lot of movement, a lot of enemies. I, I don't know what that hourglass means. I didn't know what half those bars meant before. I don't know what these wolf things are compared to the other ones, but I think they're opening portals. I'm not 100% sure. I really don't know. I think I'm about to die, maybe. Nope, still good. I don't know what's reopening these spawners. There we go, three spawners. So I don't know what I have to do to prevent the reopening of spawners. And also landmines everywhere. I should probably watch out for this. And let's also try not to die. A tough challenge, I know. They come back after a long time, but that seems so counterintuitive. I mean, the whole thing about getting spawners is once you get them, you're supposed to stop the enemies spawning. But if the spawners spawn, then they're just more enemies. I mean, I, I don't get it. It seems kind of pointless. It seems like, why am I bothering? It's not going to be permanent. Get out of here with that. Okay, so I just realized F does something. Ow! I can't see the landmines over all this stuff. So 
much stuff. Too much stuff. I have to focus on enemies. I have to focus on landmines. Oh my goodness, so much is going on. And then one of these things again. That's fun. Let's uh, switch up. Yeah, I did just notice with the bullet time, the sound effects do change uh, to a slow effect sound. Bullet. I will say what. There are a lot of really cool things about this game, too. Like, I really love all of the shell dropping going on here. That's cool. Oh, you see, now, I didn't see... The, you can't see the landmines when they're under flowers. It's literally just a question of, well, you better hope you're not going to die. It seems a little bad, honestly. Don't do that. I'd honestly just scrap the landmines altogether. When you're playing a game like this, the last thing you're looking for is little teeny tiny landmines. You're looking out for the enemies that you're trying to kite around while you're fighting them. The landmines just seem very to say the least. They're really just there to mess with you, and there's not much counterplay. In fact, there's no counterplay aside from dodging. As far as I can tell, you can't shoot them. Like, there's one right there. You can't shoot them to set them off. Literally, your only recourse is dodging. And that's, that's not a good counterplay for a game like this. So either you have to add a really good counterplay, maybe definitely put less of them, and maybe definitely. And yeah... I would just scrap them on, so the landmines seem very against the whole nature of this game. The whole nature of this game is constant movement, and you're trying to restrict that with those. That's a good question. Are there swords? Where are the swords? Because it does mention melee damage. I have not found a way to switch to swords yet. I'm pressing buttons now. Oh, that's how I switch my loadout. It's the one and two buttons. Okay, so I can set two different loadouts. Now I know. Wow. Okay, that's a thing. Alright. We're obviously going to go with this. I didn't even know I had swords until the very second. Considering my strength is like 38, I mean, I just figured it's probably pretty good, right? Yeah. That's a thing. That's a game changer. Whee! Slashy, slashy. And then they just, yup, oh yeah, spawned right on top of me. There you go. I still have laser sights on my sword. Wait, what the heck? It respawned just now, but I just, uh oh. But I just closed it. And how much health? I have no health. I better not die right now. Alright, let's go get some health and try to... Oh, three spawners again. Yeah, I really do not like the spawners respawning. It's so counterintuitive. It goes against exactly what my main goal in this game is. Which is to get the spawners. So things don't spawn. I mean, you can see how that's exactly against what you're trying to do, right? Alright, there's the spawner I closed before. At least give me some kind of indication, like something's about to respawn. Or a spawner's about to respawn. I would say just scrap the spawner respawning altogether. It's just very counterproductive. Now this game, I think, is in need of an inventory menu. Like a drag and drop system to set all this up, because pressing 1 and 2 seems a little odd. Uh, is that one still? That's still gone. Is the one I closed down here still gone? Uh, nope, because that dude's there. Slashy, slashy. Oh, he targeted right on me. I don't know how I'm alive. One landmine's gonna do me, which means I should probably leave. Yes, I like the lightsaber effect uh, sound effect as well. Seriously, you're gonna want to watch out for that. You will get sued by Lucas Arts so fast. Of course, you can make the same exact sound with a fan or something like that, or at least claim that. Still don't know what switching OS does. I think that's what that is, right? That's uh, yeah, operating system. Switch OS with F. Uh, Win 92, agility and speed. Where the other one, XOS. Strength and armor. Okay, this is probably the one I want then. This is speed, this is damage. See, they're just hiding behind scientists. That's just like, you've given me a place I can't attack, but I would have thought I'd be able to bring him back by now. I don't think he wants to stay out here. What does he gain? I should probably get a real weapon. No, 
That's one loadout. And that's another loadout. Alright, there we go. Didn't I just close you? Oh no, not one of these things. This is the last spawner, at least for now, so... I might be able to do this. Wait, so does that mean... Oh crap, I screwed up. See, there's so many buttons, I can't remember... Okay, that's how you switch. There's so many buttons. Okay, I think that's what I want. Yeah, close enough. So many buttons. Oh no, another one spawned! Yeah, right now I'd say the game is just way too random. It's like something might spawn right here and now. While you're capping, no less. Right quick. Oh no. He's angry with his wub wub. Ah, damn trees. Kill the trees. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get this or if someone's gonna spawn literally on top of me while it goes. Oh, what? Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you? You look angry. Angry and mean. There's four enemies, he's one of them. Hmm. He's all over the place. You know what might help this game a bit is an off screen indicator. So, you know relatively where something is while, you're, while it's off screen. Alright, let's go back and heal. Because I don't see myself lasting long right now. Let's see how long the spawners stay down. Boss time! Oh boy. You're not a boss. Alright, I gotta track down the boss now. Who knows where he is. There's where he went. Alright, alright, alright. Pretty easy. Let's see how he does with a rocket launcher. Uh, pretty well, apparently. That doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. You know, if I fight him around here, I'm sure it'd be really easy, because I can just keep getting health, right? Maybe you want, like, limited health uh, resources in here? Like, you can only get so much health. Oh, there we go. Now it's good. Which is Bullets. Time. Oh, no. Yeah, there. <laughs> no more for you. Oh, he regains health, too. Fabulous. And hey, something re a spawner respawned. Why? Why, oh, why do you do this to me, game? Oh, I'm dead. I'm very dead. Nope, I'm gaining health. I'm alive. Nope, I'm dead. Nope, he's in the spawn room. This is going to hurt a lot, isn't it? Whenever I respawn. If I respawn, I might have just bugged out the game. There's a good chance I bugged out the game by gaining health while I was dead. I'm going to probably guess that's exactly what happened. So I found a bug for you. Apparently, if you gain health while you're dead, you uh, bug out the respawn. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Well, shoot. Ain't that a pain. Oh, there is a max of mini bosses 10, but I'm just waiting forever to put them out. Uh, blank teleport the walls. Well, I bugged it. I done did good. I found a bug. My work here is done. Alright. We're gonna call it there, I think.